So I'm Lucia Mazzolai and I come from Lausanne in Switzerland. I'm one of the chairs of the 2024 guidelines on PAD and aortic diseases. The unmet needs are the fact that this is a very highly prevalent disease. 16% of the elderly population is affected, but it's underdiagnosed, undertreated compared to coronary artery diseases. So there's still a lot to do in terms of screening the population and diagnosis a PAD. So the guidelines, so there are several new things. Uh, one of the new things is that we have to pay particular attention in women when we do uh, diagnosis and screening because PAD presents in uh, a typical way or mainly asymptomatic. So this is something that we really have to pay attention. Uh, and then what is new is also we put a focus where in the management, it has to be pharmacological, but also the life behavior and especially exercise as a first line uh, uh, treatment. And then we also say that this is a very uh, population at very high cardiovascular risk. So you have to lower, for example, LDL cholesterol as low as possible, or at least below 1.4. And then in PAD, antithrombotics, and it's uh, good to use, or should be used, uh, a double combination of anticoagulation and antiplatelets, for example. I think we need more epidemiological studies. We still do not know exactly what is the prevalence. We need to study special populations. Uh, and then we have to make more uh, trials or comparison on different treatments. The challenges is that people think, and also uh, health carers think that PAD is only a matter of legs, so it's not important. And the challenges is to make understand everybody that these are high cardiovascular risk patients that need to be taken care of. So I think education, education, and awareness, this will be the way to go.